enough people to start this meeting, so we should call the meeting to order. All right, so it's 7.04 in the virtual meeting statement. Pursuant to Governor Beaker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law, chapter 30A, subsection 18, and the governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This, the meeting of the Hubbardston Conservation Commission will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with the right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found at www.hubbardstonma.us. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so despite best efforts, we will post on the town's website an audio video or video recording transcript or other comprehensive records of proceedings as soon as possible. Um, so with that being said, this is being recorded. And then we just ask that um, when it's time for your public hearing or anyone who has an interest in the hearing, you just raise your hand so I can allow you to speak as a panelist. It's all yours, Rick. Thank you for that. Um, trying to see who's here from for participants. For participants. Attended. For, for ConCon. Oh, I see. I figured it out. Okay. All right. Um, so let's get started. Thank you all for joining us. Um, this meeting is being recorded, as I believe Mallory said, and. I'd like to have the board introduce themselves. I'm Rick Green, chairman of the board, the CONCOM. Rich? Rich Clapp, band member. Kayla. Kayla Larson, member. Tom Larson, member. And Mallory. Um, we have one other board member who should be showing up, I would think, Mr. Tony Coppola. All right, the first uh, agenda item. Um, is a notice of intent, a public hearing notice of intent and uh, like to entertain a motion to open the public, the public hearing. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All right, all in favor. Aye. 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 All right. The Town of Hubbardston Conservation Commission, in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Paragraph 40, uh, the Conservation Commission will hold a hearing to review a notice of intent submitted by the Town of Hubbardston DPW. I have to abstain. Okay. <laughs> um, this. <laughs> NOI is, is a, it's for a blanket permit by the town of DPW to complete day-to-day -day tasks as they do every year that could be, you know, cleaning catch bases, repairing structures, drainage structures, etc. cetera. Um, all right. Oh, I'm kind of here for that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, it's this is a routine matter, and yeah. um, I don't really think there's any. The NOI that has been presented describes the daily uh, the, or a weekly or yearly tasks that have to be performed, and some of the precautions that will be taken to perform those. Um, it's the same notice that's been filed for years with the DP um, with the DEP. It's just time for a new one to be filed. Right, and it looked like it was in pretty good shape as far as whoever put it together. Maybe it was, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the same one that's been used in the past. Yeah, that um, <laughs> so thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you yourself. So um, is there any, uh, does the board, uh, CONCOM have any questions or concerns about what was provided at NOI? Hearing none, uh, is there any public comment on the DPW's intent to perform year or maintenance tasks on the highways? All right. If there's no more uh, information, I'd like to entertain a motion to close the hearing. I make a motion we close the hearing. 
I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, as far as the order of conditions, there there are order of conditions um, or precautionary uh, precautions that the DPW will take, including notifying the car and comma if any um, issues that bear discussion. Um, so we, those could be the typical NOIs that would be used for this project, Mallory, I believe. Yeah. Okay. All right, and making a motion to approve the order conditions as described in the NOI and uh, vote to approve the project. You're looking for a motion or you made a motion? I'm looking for a motion. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll second that. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Good. You still have a job, Rich. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> All right. The next agenda item is uh, another public hearing for a notice of intent to put a single family house in, in 40 Hillville Road. Um, I entertain a motion to open that public hearing. I'll make a motion. We open that hearing. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay. Um, so the Town of Harborston Conservation Commission, in accord, according with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Paragraph 40, will hold a hearing to review a notice of intent submitted by Nathan Silkey. The hearing will be held on Tuesday, et cetera, at 7 o'clock. It consists of construction of a new single family home located at 40 Hillville Road in parcel 8 slash 65 in the Town of Harborston. All right, um, so I believe Mr. Silky is on line with us. I don't see him here anymore. Nate, can yeah. you oh, Nate. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Hello, yeah. Nate. Hello. Hi, Nate. Hello. So Nate, well, why don't you um, describe a little bit what we're trying to do over there and, and any concerns that we might have on the wetlands, please. So I'm looking to put a single family home, 40 Hillville Road, Rick said that. Uh, I'm looking at 800 foot driveway, 12 foot wide, and it is going through some wetland vegetated drainage at the bottom of, there's three hills there. And um, I'm gonna be using an existing cart road that's there and following that path up to the house. I'm gonna be doing 100% replication of the wetlands adjacent to the wetland resource that's there. Um, and then there's 38,000 square feet of the parcel, which is less than 2% um, will be cleared to accommodate the home and the driveway and any other facilities on the property. So that's all. How big is this piece of land? 49.1 uh, acres. 49 acres. Okay. Um, okay. Um, does the board have any questions for Mr. Silky? I will start by saying that Tony and I went down and looked at the site on Friday, last Friday. Um, it doesn't appear to be anything too uh, much going on there. There's a wetlands area, uh, basically a drain that goes across uh, the driveway that on Friday there really was there was no running water on that site there was a couple little puddles where there was a rut and the day before that we had 1.1 um, inches of rain so it's not particularly a wet area compared to two other sites we went to on that day where there was a pretty good stream running through the properties so it's like an ad we Tony and I didn't see anything that would cause us any hesitation to uh, approve the project. Uh, any questions from the board? Obviously, it sounds like you've got plenty of acreage and just a couple little concerns to get to that. Sounds routine to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, the only thing 
crossing the wetland is the driveway itself. Was Correct. It, is yep. that near the house in the back? No. Or the septic. Yep. Yes. Is there any other is there any public comment on this piece of property? Nobody has their hands up to speak. All right, good. Happening in chat. Tony, I mean, excuse me. Um, Nate has got a, uh, a letter from the DCR, which he has some questions that they've asked him to uh, verify or further discuss a couple of the issues they have. Um, one of which was prove why you can't build a house near the road, which Tony and I thought was um, an inappropriate question to ask since it's 49 acres and you know he, he wants to put the house further away from the road it should be his prerogative to put it where he wants but anyways he has to answer those questions before um the matter is settled i believe but i would make a motion that we uh you know we close a public hearing and establish order conditions i'll make that motion that we close the hearing I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and as far as uh, order of conditions, there are, uh, there's not a lot of construction shown on the map on the uh, plan done by Mr. Popham. And there's, uh, do you want to describe what's happening with the, with the wetlands date? Sure. Sorry, this is after the hearing's closed, but. That's all right. So he proposed to adjacent to the wetland crossing on the bottom of the dry. The, the wetlands crossing is approximately four to 500 feet from the road, Healdville Road. Um, so adjacent to that, he proposed to do an 850 square foot replin, replication area with uh, new vegetation being put in. So uh, pretty routine. Um, there's really not much water down there but it is a wetlands crossing. So I got to go through the proper channels to do so. Um, everything's within the, or outside of the 100 foot buffer zone. It's happening outside the wetland buffer zone. All right, thank you. So uh, the, uh, the uh, go ahead. There are um, some, some references in the plans about what to do with hay bales and still fence and so on. So I recommend we include those as a notice of intent, uh, the order conditions for this um, job. I guess we can't really write the order of conditions until the DCR has completed their uh, review. Would we want to include any more um, plans be provided to us? specific to that wetlands replication as part of the order of conditions. Um, I, and I don't think we've done a ton of replications or at least I don't remember a lot um, and what we would typically require for that. Um, is, this, is the soil being changed or is the soil already wetland soil and just the plantings are changed? That sort of thing. I don't know what goes into design of a replication and if we should review that. Okay, we have a recommendation to um, review the re replication plan is what you're saying, Kayla. Yeah, that seems reasonable to ask for. Okay, that's fine as a part of the order conditions. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I think there's some, some discussion about that in the plan, but certainly could um, get a list of plantings and so on. All right, so Mallory, um, at this point, we're just gonna, uh, can we write this up or how do we do this while we wait for the DCR's response? Well, we don't have a DEP number yet either, so we have to wait for our DEP number before we can even record our order of conditions. So I don't know if we just wanna continue it to the next meeting 
or how you want to how you want to do it. Yes, I would make a recommendation we continue this uh, hearing or continue this discussion. I don't know if we we don't need to open up the hearing again, do we? No. Okay. So we will we can complete the matter when the paperwork is in house. And Nate, just so you know, I got your septic system back today, and it was all approved as written. Nice. Um, okay. And then you guys are all aware I have to close out with the DCR before I get a DC, DEP number. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm working with my engineer on that. Not sure when that'll happen, but it's in process. All right. Thank you. All right. I think we're done here. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next uh, agenda item is uh, another notice of intent. Uh, I'd like to uh, entertain a motion to open up this public hearing. I'll make that motion that we open up the public hearing. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. We have um, a hearing. Hold on. Um, before we right. do that, I don't know whoever is here to speak. That was an incomplete sentence, Mallory. I'm going to get cut off. This is for a lot D, Old Westminster Road. Um, so I don't know who's here for the hearing. So I just need someone to like raise their hand or put it in chat or something so I can promote them to panelists. Or we can just move on. They can jump in when ready. All right. <laughs> Let me make the announcement. Um, we will, the Com Conservation Commission, in accordance with the provisions of the Mass General Law 131, Paragraph 40, we'll hold a hearing right now to review a notice of intent submitted by Darwin Notice. The project consists of construction of a new single family home located at Lot D on Westminster Road, map and 6-155 in the town of Harveston. All right. Um, is someone going to speak for Mr. Notice tonight? No, we have some of Butters, but I don't see anyone here for Mr. Notice or from, I don't know if someone else is here representing him. I don't have any hands up. Okay. Then we will continue. Um, the, does the board have comments? Um, so is this the same? Do we do not have a DEP number yet? That might be why there's no one on their behalf. This one has no DEP number. Are they planning to get a DEP? Is a DEP number required on this lot? Mm -hmm. And we also just got a letter in from um, an attorney, McGregor and Laguerre, um, which I just emailed over. I just got it when I logged into the meeting tonight. So I don't, we have to read that into record. Um, I don't know if you want me to go ahead and read it for everyone. Because um, I can. Yes, I guess we definitely should read it. I'm just thinking, um, yes, why don't we do that? Okay. And get um, any other public opinion. Okay. Or right. public comment. So this is from uh, McGregor, McGregor and McGear out of Boston. And it says, Dear uh, Chair Green and members of the commission, we have recently been hired by Kurt McGrath and a butter to lot D Old Westminster Road for which a notice of intent was filed on or about April 13th, 2021 for construction of a single family home driveway and septic system collectively the project. 
we understand this is the first hearing on the notice of intent is oh, we understand the first hearing on this notice of intent is scheduled for the commission's meeting this evening. We further understand that as of this morning, DEP has not assigned a file number to the NOI. While we have not completed our We've lost Mallory again. <laughs> it is not. L for a proposed wetland crossing for a driveway. The NOI fails to indicate in section B the size of the proposed alteration and proposed replacement of bordering vegetated wetland. Secondly, as you know, a conservation commission has discretion to allow filling and replication of up to 5,000 square feet of BVW. 310 CMR 10.554B, a commission is not required to allow any alteration of BVW. ID, a commission may issue an order resulting in loss of up to 5,000 square feet. In exercising this discretion, the commission shall consider the extent to which the impacts to the BVW can be avoided. This NOI package did not discuss, as it should, alternatives that would avoid impacts to the BVW. Moreover, anyone receiving the butter's notice or seeing the public notice for filing of this NOI viewed the NOI form would have been misled as to what are the actual proposed alterations and proposed alterations and of its impacts. For this reason, the commission should not proceed with any submitted, oh my goodness, substantive discussion of the project this e evening and with the consent of the applicant continue this hearing and require the applicant to file a correct and complete NOI form and submit alternative analysis. It's particularly important to have complete and accurate information for this project, given the project site is within the watershed to public drinking water supply under the jurisdiction of the Watershed Protection Act. Thank you for co this consideration of our initial comments. We request we be copied on any submittals to this matter. And that was from attorney uh, Nathaniel Stevens. And you all should have had a copy of that in your email. Thank you, Mallory. You're welcome. This is uh, something that just recently came in. I did get a chance to read most of it before the meeting. Uh, is there other public comments tonight? Now we have some butters here, but I don't see any hands up. And we have no... Um, representation from the um, Darwin's engineer. I won't either. put their hands up to speak for that either. All right. Um, we, Rich, Tony, and I visited the site on Friday, and we have been to the site before. Tony has been to the site two or three times. It is a challenging site, shall we say. Also looking through my notes, and on April 6, 2016, this whole subject was it come up at the time, and we voted to um, approve those two lots. I don't know if that would be superseded by this because it's run out of time or whatever. That was after discussion with DCR. DCR was at that meeting. I don't know what to do with that little piece of information, but um, can we check into that, Mallory, and see? Yeah, I can ask. Reach out to DEP and see if it's still. I think it expired. I know they filed for an extension on lot C, but nothing on lot D, if my memory is. Yeah, I don't know when it, when it would expire. We 
you know, the same challenges were there and the same review of the D, e, DCR or D, you know, see DCR, that's when the whole discussion about it being riverfront and the size of the culverts and everything went through and they approved it. Uh, they approved construction of a single family house there with the conditions that they, you know, put this culvert in, which apparently is been designed in by Mr. Vitruba, a fairly large uh, crossing of the stream, et cetera. Um, there are valid points raised by the attorney that you spoke about earlier. So we may wish to continue the meeting and or continue the hearing till next month. Yeah, I can reach out and request um, if you want an updated application. Yeah, well, since the, the, the yes. Okay, I'll reach out. Uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it was different people at DCR that approved it last time versus this time. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I would say. Uh, but, uh, but without the DEP number, we really can't do much more anyway. Okay, so I make a motion we continue this hearing until next month's meeting. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, next agenda item. Um, two things you have indicated here, Mallory. One of them is 42 Mile Road. Oh, no, we had one more. I sent over an updated um, agenda. We had a continuance for the um, aquatic plant management plan for Cushman Pond, but they also have not been assigned a DEP number yet either. So we just have to continue that one. All right. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. 42 Mile Road, um, Tony and I made a uh, site walk on that site on Friday and we have, I, I don't know if Tony has followed up with a note to you, Mallory, on that. Not yet, okay. That was, you know, pretty much high and dry. It's been, uh, the wetland's been flagged. This is already approved house lot. It comes some time ago, over 10 years ago, I believe. And then it uh, things came up and nothing happened. So it was all reflagged this time and so on. So, um, we didn't see any problems there. And then another one, another agenda item was through the road, dead trees. Rich, do you want to talk about that for a moment? Yeah, I went and looked at that. Um, I didn't really see any issues as long as they're not going to drop them into the water and leave the stumps in the ground to, you know, keep this from washing out. Okay, so the plan is like beaver eaten dead trees, right? So, so I think they were going to use like um, some professional services to remove those at some point, I believe. That's what she said. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So she she has our approval. Does she does she knows she can proceed then, or what do we have to do? To, she knows. Okay. Very good. So you responded formally to uh, the applicant. Yes, I am. Hotel. Okay. Very good. Any other? Um, then we just have we have Bob Hatch requested to be on the meeting, but I don't see him here, so I don't know if. Anyone else from Open Spaces here to talk or not? I don't see any hands going up. Uh, Mallory? Yeah. Hi, this is on another issue. My name's Eric Goodhart. I'm a 
on the board, the PPOA, the Pinecrest, and the Cushman Pond Project. Okay. I heard you just say that uh, we don't have a, a DEP uh, authorization yet. Is that right? Yeah, for the notice of intent that was filed, we haven't had DEP authorization yet. Yeah. Uh, where would you, uh, I'm, I'm a resident, uh, I wasn't familiar. When did you get that news that we don't have it? Uh, Solitude reached out to me this afternoon as well and asked for a continuation until we have it. Oh, who, who was it that asked for a continuation? Uh, Solitude, the, the company, and I can get you an email. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been wor working with, I think his name is Dominic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so they're just waiting on that number, but they seem to be slow when they're forthcoming. Okay. Okay, and um, if you want to shoot me an email, I can keep you updated as to when we get him. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, same with me, Mary. This is Jim Ellis. I'm Hi, Jim coordinating with solitude hi yeah uh, yeah so I, I, Domin unfortunately Dominic didn't tell me this I wish he had so I'll, I'm going to reach out to Dominic after sure. the meeting um I don't know if Dominic you know said anything about you know the project was supposed to start in May um is this going to become a problem are we going to have to wait for the June meeting or could we have a special meeting if if we do get it in time um can we, we've already determined that it's, as far as I remember, we have no objection to doing this work and we're just waiting for some paperwork. Okay, so does that mean that, you know, you don't have another meeting to uh, it, give us approval then? If, since you've already, you seem, I, I, and I'm very thankful that you guys are favorable towards this work. I really appreciate that. Um, and just didn't know if we have to wait until a June meeting or whether something can happen sooner. I don't recall exactly how we left it at the last meeting. The last meeting, we were just waiting for our approval from DEP so we could issue our order of conditions. So we still have to um, continue it so we can officially vote on it and then submit the notice of intent over or the order of conditions over, I'm sorry. I don't know how you guys want to handle that. Is that something we can electronically vote on after we get the DEP number? Yeah, well, we can We can do electronic signatures on that. Okay. Yeah, I think philosophically, we, you know, the job is being done. We understand the, the reasoning. We understand who's already reviewed this project and so it's kind of a routine matter in a way. Okay, very good. Okay, thank um, you. So I, I don't see why we couldn't facilitate it by uh, approving it electronically. Okay, thank you very much for the clarification and for, we appreciate your, um, your view of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? We had a Billy with their hand up, so I don't know if he wants to. He's muted, apparently. There you go, Bill. Oh, sorry. Um, I've always done it from your from your end of this. I've never done it on this end. I just want to. <laughs> How you doing? I just wanted to ask if we could do what you just said, so I'm all set. And thanks for your time, folks. All right, Bill. Um, Thank you. Bill. I changed my mind now. <laughs> all I can say, Rick, is you look very comfortable in that chair. <laughs> all right. Take care. Have a great night. All right. Thank you. Bill. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. Is there any other uh, miscellaneous? Uh, discussion by the board, any board members or concerns? Um, I just make a comment on Friday, we Rich and Tony and I went out and we kind of split up the work. We both, all of us looked at one site and then um, Rich went and looked at another site. Tony and I went and looked at another site, a couple sites 
was it was good because it took a little bit less time, although it took till noon time probably. Um, if anyone else is interested, like Kayla, if you're ever around, you want to come out and see a couple of these sites, please don't hesitate to um, let us know. Or Tom, I know everyone's busy, but um, some of these are very interesting to see anyway. Yeah, I would definitely be interested. Friday morning, I had meetings, but uh, okay. the week the weekdays are tough for sure the work hours. But um, if it happens to work out that I don't have meetings, I could. Or you could slip out for an hour. Right, if right. If, they're, if I know they're shorter, yeah. Yeah, I mean, some of the items, some of them are pretty straightforward, and some of them are, you know, are tough. Like this one on uh, Old Westminster Road, you know outside of the fact that it's been discussed several times already, but um, there are getting more and more challenging sites out there to look at, shall we say. <laughs> so, very good. All right, any other comments from anybody? So this 42 mile road, we'll see a NOI or something coming soon? No, there is no NOI. It's, oh. it, we approved that. We would, oh. we would check, we would approve that project without mm -hmm. This is really nothing anywhere near where they're working. So it's high and dry. Yeah. All right, if there's no other comment, I would entertain a motion to uh, adjourn the meeting. Oh, do we have anything? Do we have to discuss any of the, those comments from open space? Uh, no one's here to discuss them, so. Oh, okay. I'll make that motion. Second it. All in favor of adjourning our May meeting. 41.